We bought the Baby Trend Expedition stroller wagon and reviewed it against all the top wagons, putting them through the same 65 test to help you decide whether the Expedition is the right one for you. It's boxy and wagon looking, making it great for playing on, squirming around in, and napping in. But there's no footwell, so sitting and riding is a bit less comfortable than some double stroller looking wagons. The Baby Trend is at the lower end of the price range, which makes us happy. First, we scored the baby trend in parent comfort and usability. There's a super handy storage basket with parent cup holders right on the handle. The attached storage bin is big and easy to get to. The handle is one size fits most. Others adjustable, this one not. The pull handle is out of the way when you don't need it, and it stays up when released. It comes with a car seat adapter included. Most wagons make you purchase the adapter separately. Okay. The brake release is hard on sandaled feet but the brakes worked well on a runaway wagon test. It's not too hard to clean, but you have to get under the seat cushions. The Expedition had a solid score in, in parent comfort and usability. Next up, steering and maneuverability. We loaded it up with 80 pounds of dog food for our pushing and steering testing. It did not take much force to get it rolling, and it steers and turns reasonably well. We had no problem on the grass. Or going uphill. Okay, some hills were a problem. Whoa. And some bumps are challenging. The baby trend is decent when it comes to pushing and steering. Next, we looked at folding and transport. It folds and unfolds pretty fast. It doesn't stand up when folded. Dang, I guess it does. The Expedition is 13 cubic feet folded, which is bulkier than other wagons. And at 42 pounds, it's almost the heaviest two-seater wagon. We couldn't get it to fit in the trunk of a Civic with the wheels on. The wheels are removable, but it isn't easy getting the front wheels off. It fits in a minivan, but takes up a lot of space. Overall, it did not do great in folding and transport. Next up, kid comfort and usability. There are foam seat pads that are a little more comfortable than sitting on the floor, but not like the shape seats in mini wagons. The pads can cover the whole base to make a nap mat and play area. Bigger kids can climb in by themselves, pretty much. The canopy is easy to use, and it has mosquito netting that has a mostly full seal except for some small places mosquitoes can get in. Putting it back is a little annoying. The Kid Comfort score looks low, but it's one of the better scores as compared to other wagons. The last score category is quality before we total everything up. The zippers and moving parts on the Baby Trend work well, and the folding mechanism is never a problem. The front wheels have spring suspension and the ride is smooth. This isn't a luxury stroller wagon, but it's not going to fall apart either. The Expedition's total score is 76, but how's that compared to other wagons? There are certainly higher scoring wagons for sure, but with the Baby Trend Expedition wagon, you can get most of what you want for a much better price than many wagons. Subscribe for more Kid Product Truth and check out our other videos.